Welcome back. Even when facing an unrelenting pandemic such as we are right now, members of the Bakersfield AIDS Project say they still have a mission to save lives. The people they are helping aren't COVID-19 patients, but rather a population arguably faced with an uglier silent killer. 17's Vanessa Dillon has more tonight on a state-funded needle exchange program and why the initiative is more important now, perhaps, than ever. Although we're living through a global pandemic, that doesn't necessarily mean that Kern's drug problem has magically disappeared, which is why a group of local volunteers take the time every week to gather resources to help those struggling with addiction. It's really hard when you can identify your child in that face or you can identify your neighbor, your loved one, your coworker. As most of us face a new yet foreign norm, others may still be fighting an old relentless battle. Sometimes people do this to belong to something as well. And so when they lose each other, it's, it's, it's like any of us when we lose someone. Um, it hurts. That battle for some is drug addiction. But Audrey Chavez, president of the Bakersfield AIDS Project, says the issue isn't just in Kern's homeless population. A drug user isn't just a homeless person, and every homeless person isn't a criminal. And all these people don't want to pick that choice of life or that, you know, the risks that are involved. There's always more to the story, always more to the individual. Stories some of us may never understand, yet Chavez and a group of volunteers say understanding isn't the solution, but instead a will to help may be a good start. It's something that we know that data shows makes a difference and helps people um, be able to reduce that risk in their lives and live. And that's what we want. We want harm reduction and we deserve that. We see that it works in other areas and we need that for Kern County. Help begins with a state funded program called The Exchange. Every Saturday, Chavez and volunteers hand out kits full of needles, sharps containers, Narcan and other resources. Every person who comes up um, with about overdose prevention and we do give every single one of them an, a naloxone kit. I used to stand in front of this place and try to tell everybody that. While the county has yet to fund a needle exchange program, Chavez says the Bakersfield AIDS Project moved forward with their own means to help. The exchange is a program Chavez says won't encourage addiction, but instead provides those struggling with the resources and care that just might inspire a path toward recovery. It is still that person, that they are still our children, that they are still our parents, that they are still our family members or our classmates. The exchange project was launched about six months ago and Chavez says every volunteer was taught to train each person on how to administer Narcan in case of any set emergency. For more information on this story, just head to our website, kgt.com. I'm Vanessa Dillon, 17 News.